you born into a crowded place of space you feel You came to rock with elements, then you don't stand still The light shine into my face, feel the bass from the speaker The kind of show you will get, depends on the sound check Mic check, Mo 18, you know the code, hit my page By the way, here's your pad, I hit that ass backstage I'm just talking, Aziz is very humble, I watch my ego But watch out for the mud, I think the back was a place where he goes So be sure you know, always be conscious of where you've been Or ain't going, where's the I am that guy. Morsh. Yes, indeed. Morsh. Yes, indeed. Brown like that. Artifacts. Facts. This is we at. Dig. Dilla. Some of y'all heard of them, some of y'all may have heard of them, some of y'all might have heard of them, some of y'all kind of heard of him. some of y'all don't know what the ham sandwich y'all talking about when it comes to this guy right here. Known him since second grade, down since second grade, I done put it in the verses, my first beat I ever rapped over in the studio ever recorded was James Yancey, you dig what I'm saying? It was this guy, you understand what I'm saying? I was there for all the beginning. I remember it was just two of them. It was number T3. And, 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 and my dance. And the beats. And it was crazy. John Sally, who? Shout out to John Sally. You know, he put them on. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of crews that was around. Rapping, or that hip hop, or some original. Not sounding like nobody. Oh, gee. With it. Being ourselves up. A whole nother alien space mentality is what we was rocking. We still doing it. It's still transmuting and shit. Look. Wings. No one ever really dies. It's for real. Like the love, the energy, it still beats y'all ain't heard. It's still songs and creations and next levels, way spaced out, dirty eight track. I'm talking four track. I'm talking that, a that, off all that that y'all don't even know about no more. Ancient technology that they don't even record in. We have recordings in that will come soon, come and Y'all just watch, man. Just watch what Detroit is getting ready to do with this unification. This superpower level of what's about to happen now that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the suckers and the dusty ones and all that other, other, yeah, they out the way. They all fresh out the way. So we can bring that slap, that boom bap and the clap on a whole nother level that y'all ain't never heard. Ain't never seen. 5E ain't no better team. I'm talking platinum bound with a cheddar dream. Some y'all ain't never seen. It's 5E. Ain't no better team. Platinum bound with the cheddar dream. Look, man. I'ma give you the actual facts that I know about. Before that, kind of parts. So take a break. Hop one of these petrols. I don't know if you know about the petrols. Infused cannabis mints. These things are delicious. Take y'all back to when we used to do it. I might have been 14, something like that. 15, 16, somewhere. It was the early 90s. Early 90s. There was a place called Tiger's Lounge, which was on Seven Mile in Woodward. Now, there was a ritual. There is a donut ritual. Now, hold on. It may not have no sprinkles, because I don't, we didn't eat this type of stuff. We was kind of different with it. But yes, we love donuts. 
But the donut. It was only one donut. Dutch Girls Cinnamon Roll, right down Seven Mile. We hit the Titty Bar, Tiger's Lounge, and let's get the munchies afterwards. It was open late night. We go buy all the cinnamon rolls, all of them. Go back to the lab, bag, bag of cinnamon rolls. Like these donuts, with, I don't know, it's like melt in your mouth. And it, it, was, it was like a delicious slice of bundle of heaven, if you will. This is what a donut is. A donut is a 45, or what y'all would call a seven inch record, because it has the hole in it. And you need the donut hole to put on the turntable to play. So, donuts, every sample that he was messing with at that particular time, he was looping off 45s. The dude had a record collection. All that you hearing is records coming off the 45 sample to, you know, whatever, whatever he was using. I think it was the uh, MPC 1000 because he was sick. So it was small amounts of everything that he could do. Little fingers, you know what I'm saying? Working 45s though. That's a donut. Now, this is dope, but I don't know all the sprinkles with the, all that, with the flavorful and, because I don't ever remember doing that. You know what I mean? I don't really eat donuts like that. Unless it's Uncle Vern, the vegan joints that he make, the specialty boys, loving for them donuts. And they big and beautiful too. It's like, a, this looks so good, you don't even want to eat it. It pop like that. But that's the donut. I don't know what, but 45s. Hip hop. It was DJ, producer, MC. Pop rockin' shit. This nigga, look. Jit and shit, nigga, get on that jit shit, nigga. Be workin' shit. Get the Rambisco. Get your bisco. Look, I ain't seen nobody do the Rambisco like this dude. Y'all had to be there. The dancery. It was early 90s. Shout out to Ghost Town. Shout out to the Boogie Men. They used to have a whole jit line like this with a routine. All, like eight brothers with arms around each other doing some shit with. Man, look, I was a young shorty coming up, and if you couldn't dance, and you couldn't get down, and you wasn't hollering at none of them females, oh yeah, come on, man. You couldn't hang with us if you ain't hang with us like that. You know about You know what I'm saying? Man, we had some great times making this sound, making this music. Rock shows and hoes, y'all know the records. I know how it go. However, and that's before the far side, so I can understand. Not that far side, and, and no diss to the far side. But y'all know it was our, it was our beats. Q-Tip, you knew them was our beats, man. Y'all met that man, he was fire. He was fire, y'all couldn't, woo. It was unlike anything you ever heard. Boom, back with the clap. With, with that soul, that neo, that new, new funk on it. That new, that stank, that the do do, if you will. You know what I'm saying? That rhyme, how it slide down. It, it was too funky. Y'all came like some junkies. I sent you. I met Pete Rock and a Coney Island at the Mediterranean, chilling. Like that. What? Pete Rock. Oh, Dilly, you funny. Y'all just came from Tiger's Lounge eating donuts. You give them a ritual. Now y'all here and y'all about to kick. Okay, this is there. Yep. Amir was there. Tariq was there. Seen all them characters. All them came over here sniffing. Man, what kind of butter you putting on your bread? Like butter? It's a donut glaze, nigga. Butter and bread, we eat donuts. It's cinnamon rolls. Then come to the Tigers Lounge. Sit down, players, show you how we roll. That's how we kick it. It's gonna be some lovely ladies. It's gonna be some beautifulness. It's gonna be Detroit, baby, because this is what we do. Look, Marker 27, Boston, dude, all I can say is I already hit you up in the DM. I gave you the salute. Bro, this is amazing. 
I'm following you on Instagram. IG is banging, popping, the colors, the flavors, everything you're doing, and you put some brothers up on the wall. You came to the Chocolate City, man, and you put some brothers up on the wall, man. The brothers here don't put the brothers up on the wall like that, representing that hip hop, that love, peace, love, unity, all that. It's hip hop. This is what I love. This is that five element shit. This is what we're talking about. Representing all five elements. All of that. This is what's necessary. This is love. This is Detroit. This is respect. This is worldwide. If somebody come all the way from where they from, recognize what you do, and come to your city where you used to ride your Range Rover, and your BMW, and your Land Cruiser, and, and, and do this, Thank you, Mark. Anytime you come back, man, hey, look, donuts on me. I'm gonna show you how we split it. How we do it. Next time. Check it out. 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 Check